or the failing health sector in the country today. So the thing is, it's very obvious that the health sector in Nigeria is going through some challenges and some problems. And then these challenges and problems, if not properly tackled, could lead to like the total crashing of the sector. But then <clears throat> Nigeria's Nigeria's economy has attained a lot of heights actually. But then we're not at that standard that we need to be. Like why do people still fly out for medical checkups? Why do like why do they go for surgeries in India? What well, well, more well we should be more well equipped than India. But right now we're not. And these are some of the problems I feel we should tackle before we can get there. Let's go. Well, the government's commitment to the cause is certainly a key element in the decentralization of health services which can improve primary health care in Nigeria. Inadequate funding. The country should spend at least 5% of its GNP on health. Most of the developed countries spend at least 10% of their GNP on health, while developing countries use from 1.5 to 4% of their GNP on health, and this has had a terrible effect in Nigeria. Bad intersectoral collaboration. It means that Nigeria should achieve a collaboration between sectors. WHO experts inform that the healthcare system in the country mirrors the political system in the country. Therefore, the federal government should take the main responsibility for the problems of healthcare in Nigeria. Poor quality of services in primary healthcare facilities. One of the major problems of Nigerians is a common misconception that primary healthcare facilities in rural areas are not adequate for treatment. They prefer to treat common ailments in hospitals. Another common mis misconception is that primary healthcare facilities are for lower class citizens. Low community participation. Community participation is one of the main basics of healthcare in Nigeria. Organizations should pitch in when it comes to the solving of health facility problems. Unfortunately, the inadequate community mobilization and conflicts between communities and the government can't support the stable development of primary health care in Nigeria. Human resources. Human resources form the very backbone of any healthcare system. But in Nigeria, our primary health care is suffering from lack of human resources due to things like poor job satisfaction and inadequacy of personnel. 